वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर एंड दैट जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर इज कॉल्ड एज कलर ब्लाइंडनेस दिस कलर ब्लाइंडनेस इज ऑल्सो नेम्ड एज डाल्टोनिज्म एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज सी वी डी दैट इज कलर विजन डेफिशियंसी नो लेट्स हैव ए लुक दैट वॉट इज द कलर ब्लाइंडनेस एंड वॉट कॉज इज द कलर ब्लाइंडनेस ओके सो what happens that we know very well that we are having the cones in our eyes we are having cones also and we are having rods also in our eyes okay in the retina portion now what happens that for the color discrimination we are able to recognize the different colors during the daylight just in just because of the cones okay cones are responsible for the color discrimination and that's why we are able to see the uh, the different different uh, colors okay now what happens that in the color blindness what happens that the cones become faulty the cones become faulty when there is any defect or fault in the cones then the person is not able to discriminate the different colors and the person becomes color blind now what happens here so to know more about the color blindness you must know that there are three types of the cone cells there are three types of the cone cells what are these type of the cone cells they are actually there are different types of the cone cells which are meant for the red color discrimination green color and blue color discrimination okay so there are three types of the cone cells and each type of the cone cell is having different sensitivity to different light wavelengths okay what i want to say there are three cone cells and each type has different sensitivity to the light wavelengths okay now what happens that absence of the color sensitivity pigments absence of color sensitivity pigments in the cone cells of the retina cause the color blindness now what happens that there are three types of what pigments there are three types of the pigments found in the cone cells of the retina one is known as chlorolab one is known as chlorolab the second one is known as cyanolab and the third one is known as erythro erythrolab okay now as the name is indicating chlorolab is for the green color cyanolab is for the blue color and erythrolab is for the uh, that is the red color okay now what happens that when the person become color blind so these three pigments basically present in the cone cells become deficient okay and deficiency of these pigments deficiency of these pigments in the cone cells of the retina cause the color blindness okay now the most common type of the color blindness is the red green color blindness okay there are different color blindness all over the world in the persons but the most common type of the color blindness world over is red green color color blindness means the person which is suffering from the color blindness is not able to distinguish between the red and the green color at least it is known that world over 250 million color blind people are present right who are actually suffering from the color blindness right and you must also know that there are three types of the color blindness there are three types of the color blindness one is known as protonopia second one is known as deuteronopia and the third one is known as the tritonopia okay now protonopia is the color blindness for the red color it is the color blindness for the red color why the person is suffering from uh, the red color blindness because there is reduced sensitivity to the red light when there is reduced sensitivity to the red light then the person suffers from the red color blindness okay this protonopia is basically called as what that is known as daltonism the protonopia is basically called as what daltonism okay and this daltonism name is actually coming from the john dalton protonopia 
is basically red color color blindness now coming to the deuteronopia deuteronopia is the green color color blindness for green color okay why because the patients are actually having reduced sensitivity to the green light when there is reduced sensitivity to the green light then the person suffers from the color blindness known as the green color blindness and the third one which is a rare one it is a rare one most common type of the color blindness are the red and the green color color blindness but the tritonopia there is one more type of the color blindness known as the tritonopia this tritonopia is color blindness for the blue color and it is caused due to the reduced sensitivity to the blue light okay so these are the three types of the color blindness now the question arises that how the color blindness is inherited from one generation to another generation okay so you must know that color blindness is actually inherited from the mother okay the carrier mother is responsible for inheriting this disease to the progenies so it is inherited from the mother and within a couple of minutes by the discussion you will be able to see that the color blindness is more common in males in comparison to the females in comparison to the females okay so we are going to discuss the that how the color blindness is inherited and what type of the trait is the color blindness so you must know that it is x linked recessive trait it is x linked recessive trait what is color blindness color blindness is x linked recessive trait means the recessive gene for color blindness for color blindness is present on x chromosome it is present on x chromosome and that's why it is seen that it is more common in the case of the males why see here i am writing here five cases see here xx now such a female is a normal female she is not having any gene for the color blindness on her x chromosome now for example now i have written xx and a gene for the color blindness is present on one x chromosome i have written small c a small c is indicating the recessive gene for the color blindness now if a female is having one normal x chromosome and one x chromosome with a color blind gene then such a female will be called as a carrier female here in this genetic disorder known as the color blindness carrier female is very important because she is this actually passing the disease to the next generation now carrier female is itself normal carrier female is itself normal okay now see the another case xx if the female is having the two color blind gene on its x chromosome two color blind gene on its both x chromosomes then such a female will be color blind such a female will be color blind such a female will be color blind so for the female there are three case studies if there is no color blind gene present on the x chromosome the female will be called as normal female if the female is having one color blind gene on one x chromosome she will be called as carrier female and if the females are having both the chromosomes if the both the chromosomes are having the color blind genes then the female will be called as what color blind female now what is the case study of the males say for males are having the sex chromosome xy now if the male is not having any recessive gene of color blindness on its x chromosome then that male will be called as a normal male that no that man will be called as what the normal male and if the gene for the color blindness is present on the one x chromosome of the male then definitely that male will be what color blind okay this is color blind male so you can see that as the males as the males are having only one x chromosome 
and if that X chromosome is bearing a recessive gene for the color blindness then definitely the male will become color blind so we can see that it is more common in the case of the males than in the case of the females okay male cannot be carrier male is either normal or it is color blind while a female can be normal can be carrier or can be a color blind okay now see that how the inheritance occur how the inheritance how the inheritance of the color blindness uh, color blindness occur see i will be talking here about three case studies okay the case number one is if say i cross a normal female a normal female having the genetic constitution xx is married with a color blind is married with a color blind male color blind male is what x c y means x chromosome is having the gene for the color blindness then what happens see here okay we will be making a checkerboard here we will be making a checkerboard and see here that i have written x c and y here and x and x here okay so i have made a checkerboard now see here x c x okay now x y then x c x and x and y okay i have got these four progenies now she is what a carrier a carrier daughter she will be a carrier daughter okay now normal son you can see it that is that normal son this is also what normal son and here you can see that here we will be getting carrier daughter so this is the result this is the result so what is the result of such a cross what is the result of such a cross the result of such a cross is that all females all females that is all daughters are carrier all daughters are carrier and all sons are normal okay so what is the result when a normal female is crossed with a color blind male the result the result is that all females you can see that are carrier and all sons are normal okay now have a look on the another cross now this time i am taking the case number 2 in the case number 2 i have taken this time a carrier female i have taken a carrier female a carrier female is a female who is having the color blind gene on its 1x chromosome is married with a normal male normal male now normal male is having the constitution xy again make the checkerboard i have made a checkerboard here okay and let's see that what type of inheritance is seen here okay so i will be writing here uh, x and y and here xc and x okay so what is that xc x okay then xc y then x x and then x and y okay now what is the what is this one you can see that she is a carrier daughter carrier daughter what about this normal daughter is produced here you can see that color blind color blind male is produced here and here color blind male means color blind son and here is the normal son okay now have a look on the result by viewing this checkerboard you can see the result that what is the percentage of the carrier daughters so here you can see that carrier daughters carrier daughters are here 50 percent and normal daughters normal daughters are also what 50 percent means out of the what i want to say out of the total out of the total daughters produced half of the daughters are carrier daughters and half of the daughters are normal and here you can see that what about the color blind what about the color blind son so half of the sons are color blind 50% of the sons are color blind out of the total son 50% are color blind 
एंड वॉट अबाउट द नॉर्मल सेंस सो द नॉर्मल सेंस आर ऑल्सो नॉर्मल सेंस आर ऑल्सो फिफ्टी परसेंट सो आउट ऑफ द टोटल मेल्स वी कैन सी दैट हाफ आर कलर ब्लाइंड एंड हाफ आर नॉर्मल एंड इफ वी व्यू द डॉटर्स हाफ आर कैरियर एंड हाफ आर नॉर्मल वेन वी क्रॉस अ कैरियर फीमेल विथ अ नॉर्मल मेल ओके नाउ दिस वॉज द सेकेंड केस स्टडी नाउ कमिंग टू द थर्ड केस स्टडी कमिंग टू द थर्ड केस स्टडी नाउ इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट सम टाइम द केस मे बी लाइक दिस टाइप दिस इज द केस नंबर थ्री दैट अ कैरियर अ कैरियर फीमेल मैरिज विथ अ कलर ब्लाइंड कलर ब्लाइंड मेल देन वॉट टाइप ऑफ द प्रोजिनी यू विल बी एबल टू सी सी यर वॉट इज अ कैरियर फीमेल एक्स सी एक्स ओके and what is a color blind male x c y now make a checkerboard here and see what type of the results we get this is the checkerboard i have written here x c y and i have written here x c x now have a cross x c x c this with this and this with this x c y now see here x c x and x and y now here we have got a color blind daughter now a color blind daughter is produced only you have seen by the three crosses that a color blind daughter can only be produced when the parents are having a carrier female and color blind male when a carrier female marries with a color blind male then there is probability that there is there may be produced a color blind daughter what about this she is a carrier daughter she is a carrier daughter carrier daughter and here we got color blind son and here we got normal son now what is the result of this cross what is the result of this cross that you can see that color blind daughter color blind daughter if it the question is asked that what is the percentage of the color blind daughter in this checkerboard so you will say that color blind daughters produced are 50% means out of the total daughters 50% are color blind and you can see what about the carrier daughter what about the carrier daughter so carrier daughter are 50% so half are carrier daughters and half are color blind when a cross is done between the carrier female and the color blind male now what about the son so color blind son out of the total son out of the total son color to, out of the total son the percentage of the color blind son again is 50% means i want to say half are color blind and half are normal so the percentage of the normal son will also be 50% okay so these were the three type of the crosses and based on this three type of the crosses you can do multiple type of questions which are based on the color blindness okay so you must know that we were talking about the color blindness which was also called as the daltonism or the color vision deficiency the most common type of the color blindness was the red green color blindness and it is caused due to x linked recessive gene which is present on the x chromosome it is a genetic disorder and it cannot be treated uh, permanently okay so uh, this was all about the color blindness keep watching in the next videos we will be able to you will be able to see about the more genetic disorders okay Thanks a lot.